woman, Talia Jones and her cat, Samantha, were sitting behind a desk. The woman took out a pair of glasses and putting them on, she was suddenly looking out at a class of students, each one with a cat sitting upon their desk. She asked different students to perform different tasks, levitation, teleportation, memorization. After lunch, we will focus on portions and spells, she said, as she took off her glasses and once again she was alone in her office. Since the witch trials, a prosecuted minority, witches do not gather in large groups any longer. As Talia was walking towards the door, Samantha began running around and then leapt onto Talia's um, shoulder. As Talia Jones kept asking Samantha what was wrong, but got no reply, too much static, so she put on her glasses and suddenly she could see what Samantha was so worked up about. Aliens were attacking the school. This must be the beginning of an invasion, she thought, as she counterattacked them, throwing lightning bolts and fireballs at them, and then protecting herself with a force field. Um, she advanced. They are attempting a hostile takeover of the school, she thought. Who are they? The wizards? The warlocks? Real aliens? Tough to tell, thought Samantha. Um, Talilia agreed. Well, we'll find out soon enough, she thought. Talia and Sam held them off till more and more of the teachers and students returned from lunch and joined them in the fight. A witch in her daily life must have been discovered and captured. And now they were using her to enter the witch zone. Talia walked into the Hall of Elders and stepped upon a pedestal and turned into a statue at the very exact same moment as she stepped off of the pedestal in Archangel. Jumping into action, she searched through the light spectrum, looking for the point of entry. Which door did they come in, she thought. Then she saw it and sent a lightning bolt through it. If the witch they were using to gain entry into the witch zone was still connected to the witch zone, she would be fried. Even if she wasn't, no one would ever be able to use those glasses again. Talia hoped that she wasn't connected to the... Uh, hoped that uh, no witch was connected to it at the time, but who knows? Samantha, an Amazon warrior princess and archangel, approached to Leah. I haven't seen you like this in so long, said Talia. I haven't seen you like this in so long. Uh, it, 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 it's good to see you also, as I remember you, sister, said Samantha. Neither one had seen the other in this form since Samantha fell in battle against the warlocks. If Talia fell in battle, she too would transform into a cat on Earth, the Gia Zone, as well as in the Witch Zone, and have to find a witch on her, thir on her 16th birthday here in the Gia Zone, Earth, to befriend, counsel, mentor, guide, and protect, as would Samantha, as Talia would no longer require her counsel. The oracle has detected an alien here on Earth, said Samantha. Because of his shielding, we did not see him at first, but now we are tracking him. His invasion force, we believe, is still a long way off. But from the Gia zone, he is testing our defenses and trying to be as disruptive as possible. He captured Helena, a witch from Troy. She is in transition right now. We won't know how he captured her for a while, you will be able to see through his shielding now and also be able to share that ability with any witch that joins you in battle. May the goddess be with you, and with you. Back on Earth, it was a fearsome battle. The alien had an army of drones that he unleashed against us in order to escape. But we found his ship, and when we were not able to destroy it, we placed a force field around it as well as a dampening field, so he would set off alarm bells if he tried to re-enter his ship, or so we hoped. This was a first. We shared what we knew of the alien with the wizards as well as the warlocks, letting them know what we know. This sharing with our enemies was breaking new ground, and Talia hoped that this might begin to heal the rift that had existed between the three groups since the fall of Troy. Witches and warlocks are born with their abilities, um, 
in an inactive state that activate upon their 16th birthday. And they have nine lives. Wizards are simply people who have been chosen and trained by a wizard. And they only have the one life. Witches and warlocks have the same abilities. Levitation, teleportation, mesmerization, potions and spells. Wizards have three abilities. Potions and spells and an ability to teleproject themselves. All learned from a mythical book, the book of potions and spells that no longer exist um, in this realm. And these potions and spells are now, it is believed, just passed on from one wizard to the next. When a wizard dies, the wizard he has trained to replace him and to carry on the tradition will dream of a golden key. And once he accepts that key in his mind, that golden key will be with him for the rest of his life. And uh, by meditating and focusing on that key, he will be able to access another realm and use that key to open the book of potions and spells. People believe with such certainty that the teleprojection is re- that the wizard's teleprojection is real that they will swear he was in the room with them, interacting with them, sometimes intimately, when in actuality he was somewhere else, and it was only his teleprojection that they saw, felt, heard. He has a spell that allows him to sit upon a rug and make it fly. He can animate objects, and he has a spell to surround himself with a gravity wall. The faster you move towards the wall, the stronger the gravitational pull is down towards the ground. Um, So the bullets, explosions, and arrows hit the wall and fall to the ground, and when he is finished with the rug, he will simply put his hand upon it and say thank you, and the rug will return to normal. The witches tracked and destroyed the alien. Then as the witches moved in to examine the body, it just disappeared. Then the ship came alive and in an explosion of speed attempted to escape the earth, but it hit a gravitational wall thrown up by the wizard Telemite, and like a fly hitting a windshield, it was destroyed and broken into pieces um, as the ship fell back to earth and when collected by the witches and studied. The end. Thank you.